And on Manx Radio Now, the time has come round to just ten past six. Time to go over to join Peter Neal. Good evening, Peter. And a very good evening indeed to you, Mike, and to listeners from Castletown, where we're pleased to say the weather conditions must be just about perfect. The road's absolutely dry. There's uh, a hazy sun and very little breeze indeed. So conditions set fair for the three solo races tonight. The first off, of course, is the 250 event over 12 laps of this 4.25-mile circuit on the outskirts of Castletown. Uh, the noise you can hear possibly behind my voice are the 250 machines, which have arrived here on the grid. And I think the first job I must do is to give you the non-starters and the alterations to the program. Firstly, the non-starters for this event are numbers 1, 5, 16, 17, 34, and 48. That's 1, 5, 16, 17, 34, and 48. There are two additional entries. Number 49 is Brian Fogarty on a Greaves from Blackburn. Number 49, Brian Fogarty on a Greaves from Blackburn. And number 50, Kevin Cowley, Yamaha from Onken here in the Isle of Man. Number 50, Kevin Cowley on a Yamaha from Onken. Isle of Man and one alteration to machine number 39 Mick Withers uh, rides a Yamaha number 39 Mick Withers rides a Yamaha well on uh, the front row of the grid as we look out from our commentary position machines numbers two three and four number two Neil Tuxworth who had uh, such a successful TT last month uh, finishing third in the 500cc class in the production race and 12th overall, 11th in the junior at 99.46, 17th in the senior at 93.54, 7th in the 250 at 99.03, and 4th in the open classic at 101.24 with a lap at 102.29. That's number 2, Neil Tuxworth from Lincolnshire with his 248 Yamaha. Alongside him is number 3, Danny Sherman from Douglas, Isle of Man, riding his Yamaha, going very well in practice last night, and uh, did the 250 100-mile-an-hour lap in practice for last year's Manx Grand Prix. And alongside him, number four, Roger Knott from Liverpool on the Yamaha. That's the uh, front grid, the three riders there, and the grid spread up now, quite a way up the bypass. The uh, records for the 250 class set up last year by Ray McCulloch on the Yamaha, the quickest lap of 2 minutes 55 seconds, an average speed of 87.42 miles an hour, and the race record set up also by Ray McCulloch, 35 minutes 44.2, 85.62 miles an hour. They're the records that were made for this 250 class last year. Well, now, as uh, we wait for the time to come up to 6.15, just a couple of minutes away for the start of this 2.50 event, the first solo race for the 1975 Southern 100 meeting, let's travel about a mile and a quarter around the course to the right-hand corner at Ballabeg and to describe the scene there and prepare for the race is Ian Cannell. Well, that the distance from the start to Ballabeg represents just about one minute in racing time, and that's uh, all it will take these leaders to get from Peter Neal to us here at Ballabeg. Uh, as at Castletown, it's dry, a uh, bit of haze looking over towards Port St. Mary and uh, very little wind, a pleasant night for spectators and perfect for the competitors. We haven't got quite so many spectators at Ballabeg here yet. It's a little early for people to get home from work and to get out again, but no doubt they'll be here in uh, about an hour's time or perhaps a little less because this is a popular vantage point. It's a bottom gear right-hand hairpin bend for those who may not know it. It's approached through a series of swinging bends from Ballinorris Farm, which is the point at which we first see them. That's about a quarter of a mile away. And then they accelerate away from us through an equally fast section towards another right-hand bend at the cross four ways. The Balloon circuit is roughly a square, and this is the second corner of the square after they've started the circuit. It's a 4.25-mile circuit, and uh, they take, as I say, just about a minute to get from Peter to here. So we've got perfect conditions for the competitors. 
Regular listeners will know that at Ballabeg here we have uh, a phantom poet who uh, comes up with various offerings from time to time, usually directed towards the Welsh competitors. I don't think we've got any Welshman in the 250 class, but we've got a poem that relates to them. It doesn't scan very well, but it relates to one of the Welsh competitors who's apparently had his hair cut since his last visit here, and so we can presume that that'll make him, make him go faster. We shall wait and see. And we've also got another one, which is far too long to read, but it's quite a masterpiece of six verses that relates to the Manx competitors. And uh, there's a fellow called Ian Cannell mentioned in the last verse of it as well. So we'll arrange for this to go to Alan Jackson, and perhaps he'll use it in pause for a poem. <laughs> anyway, it's uh, all set at Balabeg, perfect conditions, dry roads, no wind to speak of, and very pleasant if you're thinking of coming out to sit on the hedge and watch. And now for the start, Peter where the signal has just been given that there are two minutes to go, and uh, a late arrival was number 40, uh, William Corlett, one of the Manx competitors from Douglas on his Suzuki. He's a newcomer to the Southern 100, but he's arrived safely now, so the two-minute board has been shown, and uh, that's the time to the start of the event. Uh, just again for spectators here at the uh, start and finish area who perhaps missed the non-starters when I read them out, I'll do them once again for you. The non-starters for this first event are numbers 1, 5, 16, 17, 34, and 48. And there are uh, two additions to the program. Machine number 49 will be written by Brian Fogarty. It's a Greaves, and he comes from Blackburn. And machine number 50, Kevin Cowley, riding a Yamaha from Onken, here in the Isle of Man. And number 39 is a change of machine. Number 39 now, read, now rides a Yamaha. That's Mick Withers. Number 39 rides a Yamaha. That's the alterations of the program complete. 43 starters on the line, and by a strange coincidence, that's the same number as we'll be competing in the 350 and the 750 later on this evening. So the weather set fair. The final seconds ticking away for the start of the first solo event of the 1975 Southern 100 meeting here on the Balan Circuit. Uh, timekeeper Bill Pycraft stands on the straw bales, the Manx flag in his right hand, checking the watch for the start of this 250 event. 12 laps, remember, 4.25 miles per lap. The flag is raised, down, and away they go, and the noise will be deafening. Well, apart from number 39, who I see paddling, he seems to be having a slowish start. That's Mick Withers. Uh, it appears to me that everyone is away. One, I'm signaled, is uh, still pushing slightly. Just the one. The rest of the field away. Two, in actual fact, I'm told now. Danny Sherman, Danny Sherman is one of the uh, men who didn't get a pretty good start, unfortunately. He's still there. Danny Sherman, the only machine that didn't fire and get away, and already it's coming up to 45 seconds. We just wait to see. He's still pushing, apparently, number three, Danny Sherman. Machine not fired and uh, not likely to get away, but certainly a quick start, I noticed, by number 41, Marty Ames, and also Kevin Cowley was moving up through the field pretty quickly as they left us. But uh, number three, Danny Sherman, not away to a good start. So I've just been told another non-starter. Uh, in fact, three non-starters, numbers 12, 28, and 44. 12, 28, and 44 are also non-starters. Ian. Well, the leader is through, and the leader is number two, Neil Tuxworth, ahead of number six, Richard Burrows. And Neil Tuxworth has already got about 100 yards of a lead at Balabag. Listen to this pack streaming round this hairpin bend. Well, some people would say, what a noise, and others, the motorcycling enthusiasts, would say, what music to the ears, as about 45 machines go hurtling round this corner in very, very close company. But the leader, without any doubt at all, is number two, newcomer Neil Tuxworth from Lincolnshire on his Yamaha. Five seconds already 
After just one and a half miles, five seconds up on number six, Richard Burrows, who also comes from Lincoln, incidentally. In third place, number eight, John Holmes from Northern Ireland. Fourth place, number four, Roger Knott from Liverpool. In fifth place, number seven, Tom Lochridge from Heswall. And in sixth place, number 11, Tony Dawson from Sheffield. Travelling Marshal Alan Killip going through now, just sweeping up behind the pack. And uh, it was most unfortunate about Danny Shimon because on the lap of pageantry when they went through, on uh, their warming up lap, so to speak, although he was at the back of the field, his machine sounded pretty good and uh, obviously uh, trying to strain at the leash as they went away from Balabeg here. But Danny has obviously had some bother. Neil Tuxworth is going extremely fast in his yellow leathers. Can you see him yet, Peter? I can indeed. There he is. And he's opened up quite a gap already because the second machine is not, in fact, as I talk, the machine comes into view, but he's really stretching his lead. That's number eight and number four. And uh, around about six seconds I made it as number six and eleven go through. And here's the pack now starting to scream down past the bypass here. Tom Lockridge, number seven, I noticed in that group. Number 15 also there, I see, and among them Richard Swallow, 36, and they're coming line astern. Number 29 bringing up the rear of that group is uh, John, John Hart, and the order at the end of lap one, leading number two, Neil Tuxworth. Second was number eight, John Holmes. In third place, number four, Roger Knott. Fourth was number six, Richard Burrows. Fifth was number 11, Tony Dawson. And in sixth place, number 14, James Scott. That was the order at the end of lap one as they're still streaming through here. But I think the leader will be with you, Ian. Well, he's almost with us, and I can tell you that Danny Shimon has got away and has gone through Balabeg just about 10 seconds or so ahead of this man, Neil Tuxworth, who's on his second lap. So Danny's got an uphill task, and I don't think he's too happy with the machine. But Neil Tuxworth is, and he's gone through, and here's the second place man now, number eight, John Holmes. Just ahead of number four, Roger Knott. Number six is there now, and number 11, absolutely wheel to wheel. Number 14, James Scott, and number 47, Stephen Davies, well up. And now here's the pack again. Number 15, Richard Swallow, that Peter was talking about, well up on his greaves. And number 36, Ron Layton, a newcomer, also on a Greaves from Northwich. They're doing well. The Greaves is perhaps not the fastest machine in this race, but they're doing well. Number 24 there, Mick Dunn, and yet another Greaves from Telford. And number 35, George Ridgeon. We've probably got more British machines in this 250cc race than we've seen in uh, a similar race on the island for a long, long time. But the leader is undoubtedly number two, Neil Tuxworth, who has now stretched that lead to nine seconds. Nine seconds, the lead for Neil Tuxworth over number eight, John Holmes. And that just two seconds separate second and third, John Holmes number eight and number four, Roger Knott who is well in contention there. So a good scrap for second place between number eight and number four. The leader without any doubt, Neil Tuxworth, number two, nine seconds to the good. Here we've got number 46, Gordon Oldfield from Mansfield on his Yamaha. And Peter, you should have Neil Tuxworth. I have indeed. And going just in front of him was Danny Sherman and the machine sounding very good now, but that's Neil Tuxworth. And as I say, Danny Shimon went through the machine sounding very, very good indeed. He's got an uphill task, but uh, he's got 11 laps in which to try and get into a qualifying place. There's number eight in second place, and I can tell you now it's 11 seconds the lead that Tuxworth has. Followed in uh, third place by number four, Roger Knott. Now we have 11, 6, 14 and 47 side by side, and we had an opening lap from Neil Tuxworth. Number two of three minutes, eight seconds, 81.38 miles per hour. So the order at the end of lap two is number two, Tuxworth, 11 seconds up on number eight, Holmes. Third still, number four, Roger Knott. Fourth, number 11, Tony Dawson. Fifth, number six, Richard Burrows. And in sixth place, number 14, James Scott, as the field continues to come through. This is number 26, number 26 being newcomer Tony Snape from Smedic with a Yamaha. Two or three more machines in view, but I'm sure the view Ian Scott is of Neil Tuxworth. It is right on time, Peter. There he goes. And Danny Shimon 
Still going well, but he's down in 39th place. Now, as you say, he's got about ten and a half laps now. Let's see what he can do. There's number eight, John Holmes. Just ahead of number four, Roger Knott. Very little between them. Just about uh, two seconds again. And the lead for Neil Tuxworth is up to 13 seconds now. This boy is really on his way. He's not very old, but he's uh, already made a tremendous impact on the motorcycle racing scene, as Peter told us before the start. Leading by 13 seconds. We're on lap three. And in uh, fourth place is number 11, Tony Dawson from Sheffield. In fifth place, number six, Richard Burrows from Lincoln. And in sixth place, number 14, James Scott from Northern Ireland on his Yamaha. Number 36, Ron Layton goes through, looking down at the left-hand side of his greaves. He's a newcomer from Northwich, and he's not very happy. And this really is an excellent race for the spectators because they're streaming through one after another. It's continuous action after just two and a half laps of this race. Number 30 is stopping at Balabeg. Number 30, Bob Jackson, the newcomer from Kendall on his Crooks Suzuki, is stopping at Balabeg. The rider is perfectly okay. He's obviously got some sort of machine problem. He's taking off his gloves and uh, is investigating in the motor. But uh, it's 1 minute 40. We're looking at the watch. Number 40 is, uh, looks as though he's uh, going to start the machine again. But one man who has no trouble at all, I'm sure, is Neil Tuxworth. Is that right, Peter? That's right, Ian, because there he is. Number two, Neil Tuxworth. Number 43 in uh, some problems, I would think. That's Richard Watson, a newcomer from Ramsey here in the Isle of Man on his Honda. Danny Sherman still circulating, picked up a couple of places. There's a second place man, number eight, John Holmes, closely followed now by number four, Roger Knott. And the first three through, but Danny Sherman certainly had picked up a couple of places since the end of the second lap and going very well indeed. Uh, I think he's going to be left pretty shortly, though, by Tuxworth. There's number 11. That's uh, Tony Dawson. And now the field comes through 21, 14, 6, and 47. As quick as that to the order is Tuxworth. Second, number 8, Holmes. Third, not. Fourth, number 11, Dawson. Fifth, now number 21, Trevor Steele, who has come up from eighth place followed by number 14 and number 6. The field's still going through, Ian. And here's Danny Shimon, who's just going to gobble up number 46, Gordon Oldfield. Takes him on the inside. And here's Tuxworth now in close company with number 10, Mick Broom. Tuxworth trying to overtake, takes a very fine line on the corner, right into the inside of the wall, and now accelerates away along the footpath curb just along the edge of the curb and overtakes the man in front on his right. And there's number eight and number four, as regular as clockwork, just about 20 or 30 yards between them. Timekeeper Tim O'Hanlon interprets it into time and he says that it's three seconds. So three seconds between second and third, but Tuxworth continues to increase his lead, which is now up to 15 seconds. 15 seconds, the lead for Tuxworth. And in fourth place, it's still number 11, Tony Dawson. In fifth place, number 21, Trevor Steele, riding a good race, as Peter said, has come up through the field well. 14 is in sixth place, James Scott, also from Northern Ireland. These uh, Ulstermen are always very, very keen to support the Southern 100, and they're most welcome. In seventh place, just off the leaderboard, is number six, Richard Burrows from Lincoln. One of the fastest performances we've seen at Ballabeg was from local competitor Tom Christian, number 22, who was very good round here on the previous lap. And number 30 that I was telling you about uh, has, I should say, obviously retired. His machine is parked against the hedge, and he's now watching the race with his helmet off, and he's joined the marshals, and he's watching his uh, fellow competitors go round the hairpin at Ballabeg. So Danny Sherman, number three, having had that disastrous start, is still ahead of Neil Tuxworth on the road. He is, uh, in fact, in 35th place, according to our lap chart, and it'll be interesting to see whether perhaps he can stay ahead of Neil Tuxworth, who should by now be screaming along the Castletown bypass and with you, Peter. Yes, here he is, and Danny's still ahead of him. This is the race leader, though, number two, Neil Tuxworth, crossing the line now. 
Danny Sherman, after that bad start, certainly seems to be flying very, very well indeed. But this man, Tuxworth, is going even quicker, and uh, what a lead he really has built up. He's the second place man now, number eight, and round about that 15 seconds again, and there's number four. In third place still, Roger Knott. And sandwiched between them was number 10, McBroom, who has been lapped. Also there, number 46, that's Gordon Oldfield from Mansfield, being lapped also. This looks like the next place man on the leaderboard on the current lap. It is indeed number 21, Trevor Steele. And the field starting to stream through now, number 40 there, that's uh, William Corlett, who is, uh, I think, a lap down on the current leader. There's number 6. And at number 47, we have news on retirement. Number 8, John Holmes is out at the paddock. Rider OK. Number 30, Bob Jackson confirmed is retired at Fallerberg OK. Number 38, Colin Watson at the paddock. Again, Rider OK. I've noticed that number 50, Kevin Carley, was touring in also. Ian. Well, there's Neil Tuxworth, and uh, he's got three or four back markers ahead of him. But uh, they've just been gobbled up by Danny Shimon, who's still well ahead of the leader, so still retaining his place. And this would suggest to me that Danny Shimon is lapping at about the same sort of speed as Neil Tuxworth leading the race. So he's uh, likely to pick up quite a lot of these places. In second place, we've got number eight, who was reported actually as having retired, but he's gone through here. Number eight, still in second place, 14 seconds behind Tuxworth. In third place, number four, Roger Knott. Four seconds behind to John Holmes. In the fourth place, number 21, who's come up another place. That's Trevor Steele. Fifth place, number 14, James Scott. And relegated now to sixth from fourth is number 11, Tony Dawson from Sheffield. Number six, Richard Burrows, is still in seventh place, just off the leaderboard. And in eighth place, Stephen Davis from Colwyn Bay. Yes, we do have a Welshman in this race. So the lead for Neil Tuxworth is now 14 seconds and uh, we're watching the progress of Danny Shimon with great interest because uh, we do have this championship race on Thursday afternoon, tomorrow afternoon, and uh, he will be anxious to qualify for that because this is the only ride that he has in the qualifying races. He's also entered in the 1000cc race, but that doesn't qualify him for the championship. As I'm speaking to you, number 36, Ron Layton from Northwich, Almost uh, overshot the corner on his greaves. Uh, left his braking rather late. Almost had an argument with a stone wall, but he stopped just in time and he's gone on his way. And we're going on our way now to Peter for news of the leader, Neil Tuxworth. Well, Danny, certainly going very well indeed, and we have him now up into 25th position on the road, but he's the leader, passing three back markers as he goes past us. Number 22, Tom Christian there, is one of the boys who had just been lapped by this flying Neil Tuxworth, machine number two. He's the second place man now, number eight it is indeed. And I make it now that the lead is down to 11 seconds. 11 seconds, there's the third place man, number four. But 11 seconds now, I make it that Tuxworth is ahead of the second place man, number eight, John Holmes, who certainly has, uh, has not retired the way he's riding here. There's number 21, who's come up through well, Trevor Steele. Number 10, a man who's been lapped, and number 14, I think it's the next man on the leaderboard we're looking for, and there he is, that's James Scott. So the order at the end of lap 5 of this 12-lap race, as number 11 goes through, we have number 2, 8, and 4, first, second, and third, 6, and 47 have just gone past me now. Another machine in view will take this one through, and this is number 9. Number nine, and that's uh, newcomer Roger Webb from Crawley. Number 25 goes past now, and I think passing Ian will be Neil Tuxworth. Peter, I can see him just throwing that machine across the hairpin now. Ahead of number 37, who of course has been lapped, that's Stuart Keaton on his Ducati. And I'm afraid that there is bad news for local uh, supporters because Danny Shimon is in trouble. Number eight goes through, still holding second place. Number four is through in third place. Tuxworth's lead is down to 10 seconds now. 10 seconds the lead for Tuxworth. Has he any problem or is he just being sensible and easing off that little bit? Because he has a substantial lead as we come towards the half distance. But Danny Shimon's machine is definitely in trouble. I'm not sure whether or not he got away from Balabeg. The machine would not pick up and he just spluttered his way out of my sight towards Balawetstone Corner. So, uh, Danny, I'm afraid after a valiant race, 
is in some sort of trouble. The lead then for Tuxworth is uh, 10 seconds. The interval between number eight in second place and number four in third place is six seconds. That's stretched. And between number four and number 21, is there is nine seconds. And Danny Shimon, I'm told, has in fact stopped just past Balabeg. So that is very hard luck indeed after a, a good ride following that very bad start indeed. Danny Shimon has stopped just between Balabeg and Balawetstone. Here are some of the uh, back markers going through now. Number 27, Leslie Hart, in close company with 46, Gordon Oldfield, and number 23, Robert Miller from Northern Ireland. They're having their own special little uh, private little race between the three of them, and I'm no doubt enjoying it just as much as the leaders are. Here's number 36, Ron Layton, who throws his right knee out and crawls all over his greaves, goes safely round the corner, and we go back to Peter for news of the leader. And the news is, that's him. Number two, Niels Tuxworth, completing half distance, six laps completed. The watch has started, and we'll see what this time difference is. Down to ten seconds it was. He's the second place man now, number eight, Holmes. And I make the lead back up to 14 seconds for Neil Tuxworth. 14 seconds, number two, Tuxworth. And there's the third place man now, number four, who is some six seconds down on the second place man. Number 21, still in fourth place, that's Trevor Steele. So the order at the end of lap six, half distance, Tuxworth, Holmes, not. Then number 21, 20 and 14 go through. There's Tom Christian once again, number 22, but a lap adrift now in this fast pace. So the order at the end of lap six is 2, 8, 4, 21, 20, and 14. That's number 11. Number 10 is a lap rider. And number 47 and 19 go through now, followed by number 6, 45, a local competitor from Castletown, and number 31. Now the leader's there, I think, Ian. Almost, Peter. Yes, there he goes into the left-hand gutter. Now across the hairpin. No trouble at all. Looks back over his right shoulder. Sees number 42 behind him, but he's been lapped. That's Alan Jackson from Kendall. Now we've got the second place man approaching the corner. Takes rather different line to Tuxworth. That's number eight, John Holmes. And he's pulled out a bit more, I think, over the third place man, number four, Roger Knott, in his green Honda-style leathers, despite the fact that he's uh, riding a Yamaha. And uh, the interval now is 13 seconds for Tuxworth, seven seconds between second and third. That's between Holmes and Roger Knott. Number four, Roger Knott, completed this uh, equivalent race last year in third place. That's the place he's holding at the moment, and he'll be trying to pull out that seven seconds on John Holmes just ahead of him. In fourth place, we've still got number 21, Trevor Steele. Fifth place, still number 14, James Scott. And in sixth place... Number 11, Tony Dawson. In seventh place, number 47, Stephen Davis. Eighth is number six, Richard Burrows. Ninth, number 25, John Norris. Another newcomer comes from Bexley Heath. And in tenth place, number 29, Johannes Hart from Suffolk, riding a Yamaha. And we've had no change in the first six leaderboard now for three laps. So Neil Tuxworth is holding a commanding lead of 13 seconds. We're on lap seven now. And number 32 in a spot of bother there. That's uh, Peter Beaumont on his Ducati. But he gets away with it all right. And uh, he's safely through Balabeg. One minute and 52 seconds since Tuxworth went past us. He should be back with you, Peter. He is indeed, and lapping just over the three-minute mark, there he is, number two, Neil Tuxworth. Two more machines who have uh, been passed by him are number 24 and 35. Also number 18, that's Robert Clough. He's the second-place man now, number eight, Holmes. And the lead here is just under 15 seconds, just under 15 seconds. 21 has got past number four. 21 is up into third place. That's uh, Trevor Steele ahead of number four, Roger Knott, at the end of the seventh lap. Two, eight, 21 and four, the order of the leaders. Like the next leaderboard man is number 14, and that's James Scott. And already the leader has gone from here some 45 seconds 
and we've had five riders through on this lap. Two, eight, 21, four, and 14. He's the next place man now, number 11, Tony Dawson. That completes the first six. Now the leader, I think, Ian, is with you. Here he is now, yellow helmet, yellow and black leathers, white streamlining, and the initials NT on the back of that yellow helmet tell us that it's Neil Tuxworth. A newcomer to the Southern 100, by no means a newcomer to the Isle of Man, as Peter was telling us. And uh, he's away on lap eight. There is number eight now. And a tremendous scrap behind him. And they're all back markers, and they're having a whale of a time, four of them together. And just behind them, number four. But um, among all that lot that uh, went through in a bunch was number 21, who's still holding third place. So we've still got John Holmes, number eight, second. We've got number 21, Trevor Steele, in third place, as he was on the last time he went past Peter, and is just four seconds between second and third. Number four, Roger Knott, is still there in fourth place, three seconds behind Trevor Steele, and in the fifth place, still number 14, sitting behind there watching all the action, James Scott from Northern Ireland on his Yamaha. In sixth place, number 11, Tony Dawson, who was ninth in this race last year. He's just gone past me uh, ahead of number six who is in seventh place. So we've got just four seconds now between second and third, between number eight, John Holmes, and number 21, Trevor Steele, and we've got a race on there for second place without any doubt. The leader, Neil Tuxworth, well, he's got 16 seconds in hand now, and he's extending that lead, as you'll have heard us say, over the last couple of laps, uh, having let it fall to about 10 seconds. He's now increased it again to 16 seconds, and it would appear that he has everything under control as long as the machine keeps going as well as it is at the moment. So we're on lap eight. We're almost two-thirds distance. Number 19 is with us. That's John Worthington of sidecar fame, riding a Royal Enfield. You don't see many of them about these days, but one man who's riding a Yamaha is Neil Tuxworth, and he's with you, Peter. He is indeed. This is the leader, Neil Tuxworth, crosses the line now, and I can tell you at number 47 is in a spot of bother. That's Stephen Davies, who was uh, up into eighth place. Uh, the machine is parked on the pavement here, and uh, he's been running up back. Something obviously dropped off, it would appear, and he's gone up to collect it, and he's running back here. There's number 21 in second place, followed by number 8 in third place. And the lead Tuxworth has now is 18 seconds. The fourth place man is Roger Knott, number 4. That's number 26, and number 26 is Tony Snape, a lap down on our chart. 24 is also in that position, as is 35 and 18. This is the next leaderboard man, number 14, James Scott, and he's lying in fifth place. And we wait now for the sixth place man, who should be number 11, Tony Dawson from Sheffield. That's 42 and 33 going through. The sixth place man, number 11, not in view as yet. 47, as I told you, is in a spot of bother. Uh, Travelling Marshal Alan Killip has gone over to have a look at him. He's number 11, but the lead is with you, I think, Ian. Yes, he is. And he's flat over the tank, and you would think that he had somebody right up his exhaust pipe to look at the way he goes away from Balabeg. He appears really to be trying, and well, he might, because here's number 21, who seems to have got away from his challengers, and he almost overdoes it at Balabeg. Watch it, boy. Number 21, Trevor Steele. Perhaps a little too enthusiastic there. He's in second place, ahead of number eight, who in turn is ahead of number four. They're all now safely through Balabeg. The lead for Tuxworth is 15 seconds. 15 seconds. The interval between second and third, between Trevor Steele and John Holmes, is seven seconds. So that's stretched a bit. And uh, between number eight and number four is five seconds. Number 14 is still in fifth place, a position that he's held now for five laps. That's uh, James Scott. He was 12th last year, so he'll be uh, well satisfied, I suppose, with fifth place this time, provided he can hold it to the end of the race. Number six is with us now, that's Richard Burrows. He's holding seventh place behind Tony Dawson at number 11. And we've just had uh, seven through on lap nine, and already it's about one minute and 20 seconds since the leader went past us here at Balabeg. Neil Tuxworth then uh, has 15 seconds of a lead from number 21, Trevor Steele, who, was, as I said, was trying just a little bit too hard at Balabeg. And I hope he won't continue to do that all the way around the course. 
Number seven is with us now. This is Tom Lockridge, regular competitor on the TT course with an impressive record as well. He's followed by number ten, Mick Broom. And now back to Peter for Neil Tuxworth. And that's Neil Tuxworth completing now nine laps, followed by number 41, who of course is a lap adrift. Number 41 is newcomer Marty Ames from Leeds. The watch ticking away, that's number 32 going through, and I can tell you that after six laps, half distance, but he's the second place man now, number 21, and he's 17 seconds behind now, 17 seconds down. He's number eight and number four in very close company with that battle for third place, that's Holmes and uh, Knott, and we mentioned earlier that uh, number eight has, was reported as retired at the paddock. He stopped there to make adjustments, and he's still up there in third place. As I was saying, at the end of six laps half distance, Neil Tuxworth was averaging 83.62 miles per hour and was some 14 seconds ahead of his pursuer then, who was number eight and followed by number four. So 83.62, he was averaging. Number 14 has gone through in fifth place. James Scott from Northern Ireland. Number 47 is still in trouble just uh, at the side of the road here, just up from our commentary point. And Neil Tuxworth, Ian, I think is with you. Well, he's just accelerating away from the corner at Ballabeg. He's got uh, a little bit of road all to himself now. He's uh, not got any particular uh, back markers just ahead of him. And... Uh, the only man he's got immediately behind him is this man, number 21, who is really fast. He's faster than Tuxworth round Ballabeg. Much better line that time as well. That's number 21, Trevor Steele. And the third place man is just with us now, and it's number four. Number four has got ahead of number eight. So we've got a change of third place man there. Roger Knott is back in the third place that he held earlier in the race. He's five seconds behind uh, Trevor Steele, who is 15 seconds still behind Tuxworth. So, as so far as we're concerned at Ballabeg, that interval is exactly the same as it was on the previous lap. And it would seem that uh, Trevor Steele can't do very much about Neil Tuxworth's lead now, with just two, uh, two and a half laps to go. But, of course, he'll be anxious to stay ahead of Roger Knott, who is now in third place, just five seconds behind him. We've got a good scrap there for second, third, and fourth because there's just seven seconds between the, the three of them. Number 21, uh, Trevor Steele in the second place. Five seconds ahead of Roger, not number four, who in turn is two seconds only ahead of John Holmes, number eight. So a good scrap there. Number 14 is holding what I suppose is a fairly monotonous fifth place for him. He's all of 20, 27 seconds down behind uh, John Holmes. In sixth place, still number 11. That's a place that he's held for about six laps, and uh, number six is still in seventh place. But there's just one second between numbers 11 and six in sixth and seventh place, respectively. Number 29 there, just overtaking 25. Good little scrap between those two. Neil Tuxworth, number two, then, with ten laps completed, is 15 seconds ahead of number 21 here. And what is he with you, Peter? He's right here, just lapping the uh, number 45, local competitor Derek Kelly from Castletown, and uh, 10 laps completed, two to go for Neil Tuxworth. Some retirements, number nine, Roger Webb at the Iron Gate, number 49, Brian Fogarty at Cross Four Ways. That's the second place man who is now 15 and a half seconds behind the leader. Number three, Danny Sherman is out at Ballabeg, as reported. Number 15, Richard Swallow is out. There's number four and eight. In that order, but very little between them, battling for third place, Roger Knott and John Holmes. Just to continue those retirements, number 15, Richard Swallow at Castletown Bridge, 43 at the Iron Gate, that's Richard Watson, and number 50, Kevin Cowley at the Paddock, all riders perfectly okay. This is the next place man on the leaderboard, number 14, lying in fourth place, James Scott on the Yamaha from Northern Ireland. This man has been lapped. This is number 41, Marty Ames, from Leeds. And Ian, I think the leader's there. Yes, he has. He's got two back markers ahead of him. Number 36 is about to be overtaken. That's Ron Layton from Northwich, one of the Greaves competitors. And uh, Neil Tuxworth almost does a wheelie as he goes away from Ballabeg, such as the acceleration. Number 21 still trying as hard as he can go on that uh, Yamaha. He's in second place. He's 13 seconds behind. He's closed the gap a little bit, but what is perhaps more important from his point of view, he's still well ahead of numbers four and eight, who are almost wheel to wheel on the road. They're having a tremendous scrap. The interval between second and third is now 12 seconds, and I think that reflects 
the effort which number 21, uh, that is uh, Trevor Steele, is putting into his second place ride. He's closed the gap of uh, the lead of Tuxworth down to 13 seconds. He's increased his own advantage over number four from five seconds to 12 seconds on that lap. And uh, he's established himself now firmly in second place. But he is trying extremely hard. There's no question about that. In fourth place, uh, number eight still, of course. In fifth place, number 14. Uh, we're waiting now for the sixth place man. And it's interesting to see that uh, numbers 21, 8 and 14 in second, fourth and fifth places are all competitors from Northern Ireland. So that's rather nice for them. Here's number 11 now in uh, sixth place, just ahead of number 6, who is in seventh place. And those two have only one second between them on the road. So it's 13 seconds, the advantage for Neil Tuxworth, riding his first race on the Balloon circuit. First race in the Southern 100 for him. It looks as though he's going to win it. He's just got uh, a little more than a lap to do. He'll have 4.25 miles to go to the checkered flag when he passes Peter Neal, and he should be doing that just about now, Peter. Well, very shortly. In fact, as you hand over, here he is. Number two, Neil Tuxworth. Crosses the line now. We start the watch and wait for the next place man. Not in this group. 37, 20. Here he is, though. This is the second place man, number 21. And he's some 12 seconds behind the leader. 12 seconds now with just one lap to go. Third place man. Here it is. He's a scrap. Eight and four. Still in that order. Holmes and Knott as close as that. And interesting to note that the leaders are increasing their average speed as the race proceeds. After lap six, the t leader, Tuxworth, was averaging 83.62. After nine laps, it was 83.82. Second uh, at that stage was number eight, who was averaging 82.60. He's dropped slightly to 82.53, but the leader certainly increasing his speed. This is number 14, the fourth-place man, James Scott, or I should say fifth-place man, but so quick is that leader, Neil Tuxworth, going, averaging 83.82. Ian, he's there. Yes, he's just going past the last warning board now, tight into the left-hand gutter, now across the hairpin. Doesn't use more than half the carriageway available to him. Everything under control, and away goes Neil Tuxworth on his last lap, his 12th lap. And there's the second-place man now, and it appears that he's going even faster. Number 21, he's really fast round here. The fastest thing we've seen without any doubt whatsoever number 21 Trevor Steele who is in second place there's number four and number eight as quickly as that just about 10 yards between them on the road and the lead for Tuxworth is 12 seconds on the last lap and the lead for Trevor Steele in second place over Roger Knott is also 12 seconds so they're well spaced out 12 seconds between first and second 12 seconds between second and third they're just maintaining station now to the checkered flag Although, to look at number 21, Trevor Steele, you would swear that he had just about, uh, the leader just about one or two seconds ahead of him. He is really trying hard, and he's riding well. He's got this corner weighed up now. He's much neater towards the end of the race than he was at the beginning. Number eight is through, of course, in uh, fourth place, ahead of number 14 in fifth. And it's just the first five that we've seen. The machine you can hear now is number 31, local competitor Frank Drinkwater from Port Aaron on his Ducati who uh, just uh, eased his way around the corner. I think perhaps he's having a little bit of brake problem, uh, a little brake problem there. He's just slightly overshot the corner, nothing to worry about, and he goes away quite safely. Number 26 is another who's had trouble at Balabeg, Tony Snape from Smethwick, and uh, his engine refused to pick up as he went away. But Neil Tuxworth will now be almost at Alexandra Bridge, that sharp right-hander before coming onto the finishing straight and into the sight of Peter. Well, I can hear the Yamaha in the distance. Around Alexander Bridge, I see the people starting to wave to him, and very shortly he'll be in my view, and here he is, number two. Neil Tuxworth, the checkered flag ready, crosses the line, and uh, lap for the second time there as he did that, number 10, Mick Broom from Leicester. There's number 27. He's the uh, second-place man now, the runner-up, number 21, and he finishes some 11 seconds down on the leader. So Neil Tuxworth, the winner, second place number 21, that's Trevor Steele from uh, Northern Ireland on his Yamaha. Number four and number eight in that order. So Roger Knott has repeated last year's story of finishing in third place and number eight 
John Holmes is down in fourth place. So the first four are in, two, 21, four, and eight. And uh, just under 11 seconds, the lead was for Neil Tuxworth at the finish of this first solo event, the 250 race. We look now for the next finishers, fifth and sixth place men. These are not them, 37 and 20. He's number 14, though, in fifth place. Number 14 finishes in fifth place, and that's James Scott from Northern Ireland. And uh, the next man we expect to see to complete this leaderboard will be number 11, who is closely pursued also by number 6. But number 11 should be completing our leaderboard very, very shortly. For once, the bypass road quiet, which is most unusual. This is uh, number 45, the local competitor, finishing. But this is number 6 up into 6th place, and number 11 is 7th. Richard Burroughs is 6th. And 11, uh, number 11 is 7th, that's Tony Dawson. And the local boy finishing there was newcomer Derek Kelly on a Honda, comes from Castletown. So the first seven have, uh, are in, and shortly we'll have the uh, times and details and average speeds. And uh, I wonder how near the quickest lap or the lap record they were in this event. Number 31, this is Frank Drinkwater on the Ducati from Port Aaron, another local newcomer. A scrap here now, number 47 and 29. Well, 29 counts, 47 doesn't because he missed a few laps. But as he set away from here after carrying out the repairs, a couple of little wheelies for the spectators here. That's number 47, who was on the edge of the leaderboard, Stephen Davies, but who uh, missed a couple of laps through a mechanical problem. Another retirement, number 40, local competitor William Corlett on the Suzuki has retired just before Balloon. Again, rider is perfectly okay. Number 18 finishes, that's Robert Clough. And, of course, in the short circuit racing, once the leader is in, everyone is flagged off, whether they've done the 12 laps or not, to speed the proceedings for the following events. And the following event this, after, this evening will be the 350. That's number 23 finishing, Robert Miller, again from Northern Ireland, and a Yamaha, and number 42, newcomer Alan Jackson on a Crook Suzuki from Kendall. Newcomer, of course, to the Southern 100, but not to the Isle of Man. And once again, the road goes quiet, and uh, not for long, though, here at the Southern 100, because the 350 event will be starting very, very shortly. But we'll have the times and details from this 250 event for you just as soon as possible. Meantime, another machine we hear coming from uh, Alexander Bridge. Not sounding very healthy, that machine. That's number 41. But he finishes the race. Marty Ames on the Greaves from Leeds. And uh, he comes in to finish, so not his 12 laps. As I say, the next event we'll be seeing this evening will be the 350 event, which again had uh, record race and lap speeds last year. Um, 89.05 was the quickest lap by the winner Derek Huxley last year and uh, we'll be going to more detail on that and alterations. There are approximately 10 non-starters to the program which we'll be giving you again a little bit later on so 43 we expect to come to the line for that uh, 350 event which according to the official program is due to start at 20 minutes past 7 but uh, I feel pretty certain that it will be starting a little earlier than that because the time now just coming up to seven o'clock course inspection car will be around very shortly and then the scene will be set for the second event remember that uh, the top 45 riders not necessarily the first 15 in each of the events this evening qualify for the championship tomorrow it's based on performance not on the position they actually finish so let's give you now the details that we've been waiting for the winner number two neil tuxworth on the yamaha 36 minutes, 29.8, 83.84. Second, number 21, Trevor Steele, Yamaha. 36 minutes, 40.4, 83.43. Third, number four, Roger Knott, Yamaha. 36 minutes, 52.2, 82.99. Fourth, number eight, John Holmes, Ray, Yamaha. 36 minutes, 56 seconds, 82.85. Fifth, number 14, James Scott, Yamaha, 37 minutes, 25.4, 81.76. And sixth, number six, Richard Burroughs, Yamaha, 37 minutes, 53.6, 80.72.
The fastest lap was set up by number 21, Trevor Steele, the man who finished second on his seventh lap, 2 minutes, 57.6, 86.14. So that's the confirmation and details on the 250 event. Uh, Mike will be coming down here very shortly again for the 350, but until the 350 gets uh, prepared to be underway when we have the riders on the grid, let's uh, have some music from you at the studio. And Peter, many thanks indeed. Show Radio Vannon was Dulish Ellen Vannon. This is Manx Radio from Douglas, Isle of Man. And search the hidden Irish. Your kind of sound. This is Manx Radio. Thank you.